Today on the channel from Mattel Elite Series 96, first time in the line, Dewdrop. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel Elite Series 96 unboxing and review. And today, we got a first time in the line, we've got Dewdrop. But remember, for all your modern day wrestling figure needs, be it AEW, be it WWE, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. And of course, we're going to do this review. Like we do all the other reviews on the channel, we're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's check out old Dewdrop right off the bat. And Dewdrop is lucky enough to be the Chase in Series 96. So first time in the line, first time in the line Chase Edition as well. So double feet for old Dewdrop. Very interesting. I wonder how Mattel decides who's going to be the Chase. Is Dewdrop's an interesting idea for one. Uh, but we'll see how it goes for her on the uh, retail store pegs. But there's old Dewdrop in the package. Looking good, looking like Dewdrop, and there she is right there. Dewdrop down below. Now, this is an older incarnation of Dewdrop, and she has changed her gimmick up a little bit. More of a bad gal, I guess. I was going to say guy, but I guess bad gal. Uh, teaming with Nikki, almost a superhero. I think they're about ready to break up on current TV, but we'll see what happens there. WWE logo, Elite. Series 96, of course. There she is in happier times right there. It used to be, uh, what, Piper Niven? Is that what it was? Piper? Piper something over there. Piper Niven, I think, in NXT UK way back in the day. Uh, certified Authentic, of course. True Effects, Mattel Elite, and Dewdrop. Drop. And on the back, there it is. A little glamour shot in the ring. Tail of the tape, a little blurb. We got the cross sell. We're unboxing all these on the channel, and we will unbox the Chase version of Dewdrop uh, in the final video of the series. We'll unbox that, and then we will rank the entire set from my least favorite to my favorite, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, but let's see what it says on the back about old Dewdrop from Ayrshire, Scotland. Beautiful this time of year. Oh, yes, trust me. Just take my word for it. Height, five foot eight. Finisher, the electric chair face buster. After SummerSlam 2021, the no-nonsense Scottish powerhouse began to pave her own path to superstardom. And uh, she had Eva Marie with her at first, if we remember back to those days. Uh, so she's done a few things. She's done a few things in WWE. She's been around a little longer than we thought. I mean, going back to NXT UK, she's probably been with the WWE organization, I don't know, four or five years now, give or take, something like that. So very good for her. Very good for her. Uh, let's pull her out of the package. Off to the races. See you later. Off the ceiling. Goodbye. And we got the old plastic prison. There's old Dewdrop in blue. Oh, she's in blue. Uh, pop her out. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. We're locked in. We're locked in at the hand. we got to free her. We must free her. Uh-oh. I'm not sure how to free her, though. Got it all messed up here. you got to be careful with these figures. You guys know that. We might just have to pull it. We might just have to pull it out. Hope for the best. There it is. We did get it out. That worked. That worked. There it is. And then we got to get these hands out of here. She does get two sets of hands. I don't know about these hands. See you later. Off to the side. That was a pathetic see you later. Pathetic. Uh, but we do get extra hands with her. We get two gripping hands. She does come with two fisted hands. She's ready to throw down. And of course, her being the chase edition, got to mix those hands up between the two figures. Make a little point of difference. A little another point uh, is what you got to do. But then we get Dewdrop out of the package. And speaking of hands, that's the first thing that kind of draws my attention. Uh, she is very much like some of the other female larger ones. The Nia Jax even to some extent. Uh, where these little hands just don't work. I think China had the same problem with her elites. Uh, since Dewdrop is bigger than your average female wrestling figure, she needs, uh, I guess, man hands for a lack of a better term. She needs bigger fists. As these are the fists they're going to use for any woman wrestler. And they make her look like she just has really tiny hands. Uh, so I might play around with that, see if I can find some better hands for her that might work a little bit better. Uh, but let's break down this figure first. Let's look at the head. She does got the little pom-pom type things going on in her hair. Uh, that is interesting. She doesn't do that anymore, as we see on WWE TV. Got long uh, hair down in the front. Uh, good representation. I don't know if I could tell you it's Dewdrop 100% if somebody just gave me the head. But I think it does look at like her when you add the whole body together. She does kind of have a little jean jacket type thing going on here. Nice soft goods. Always love soft goods on things like this. And then we do get her in her jumpsuit. Singlet, uh, I don't know what we call it here, but it is all in blue. Got painting on the sides in blue. Uh, very interesting look. 
that she does have her fishnets down to her black knee pads. And then I guess, I don't know if you call those socks. I don't know what you exactly call those. And then she does have her short boots. Uh, so an interesting looking figure. And of course, this is a bigger female figure. Uh, much larger than your average female figure we've received from Mattel over the years. Articulation wise, of course, ankles up and down. Does have a boot cut. Very tight boot cut, but we do have one. Double jointed knees, thigh cut. She can do a decent split. Uh, I do have a waist cut. You got the hula hoop at the top. Head side to side. Head is removable. Hands side to side. Hands are removable. You do get the double jointed elbows on her. Pinless elbows as well. Uh, not bad for a first time in the line figure, if you ask me. I think this isn't uh, too bad at all. Does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? That's always a good test. And she fits like a glove. We got her on the stand. She's ready to go. Very interesting figure. It'll be interesting as we talk on the channel. Female figures don't always set the world on fire, as we know. Uh, but we'll see what Dewdrop does. First time the line always helps, so maybe that'll help move some units. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see once she does hit stores. But, of course, as of right now, Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Speaking of larger-than-life female figures in action figure form, how about Nia Jax? Compare her to Nia Jax here. Uh, Nia, still a much bigger figure. But, man, uh, I like big female wrestling figures like this. It's just a different look. As a lot of the wrestling figures in the female variety all kind of have that same look, or at least same body style. This is at least different. This is getting a new mold out there that's always expensive. And I don't know, would they have anybody else they could use this mold for? Uh, unless they do some deep cut ones, maybe. Uh, you know, maybe we get an Asia Kong or something like that from way back in the day and they could reuse some of this. But for the most part, one and done mold just for a specific character, that's pretty cool. Obviously, Dewdrop, she's not going to sell like a Hulk Hogan, an Ultimate Warrior, a Macho Man. But to, for Mattel to invest in this mold, invest into this, I think is pretty cool. And it does work for me. And this is a good figure. I would recommend this. Uh, I don't know if everybody's a big Dewdrop fan, but it just definitely is cool, especially that being a first time in the line and feeling just different than the uh, cookie cutter stuff we have from a lot of females, really, at the end of the day. So there's old Dewdrop. What are your thoughts in the comments down below? Let me know. Let me know if you're picking this up. Let me know if you're looking for the chase. Let me know if you're just passing. Uh, just let me know in the comments down below. And of course, like this video. You made it this far, you might as well. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. Check out the Patreon where you can get bonus content, exclusive content, early access to videos like these, and of course, the monthly giveaway. And you do support the channel with the Patreon. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget to follow along on social media. Hit me up at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Do Drop the Regular Edition, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.